Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news. Scotia Bank presented a donation of $2 million that will assist the Women's Center of Jamaica Foundation in its ongoing efforts to provide remote learning opportunities for its students, many of whom have been disenfranchised due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The donation has assisted the foundation to procure 66 10-inch tablets that will be distributed at the start of the summer term to WCJF students who include adolescent and expectant mothers. Making the presentation, Audrey Tugwell Henry, president and CEO of Scotiabank, commended the organization for its impactful work in providing educational support for these young women annually. We are donating $2 million to purchase 66 uh, tablets for the young ladies of the Women's Center of Jamaica. It is important for us because Scotia Bank, we continue to support the communities where we, where we work and where we do business. And we recognize that there's a great need to support women, particularly at this time. We believe that through this donation, we can positively impact the lives of these young women as well as their children and family. I would encourage the students to press on, to march on, to have hope, to know that there is support for them and that it is important that they do well because they have their young children to take care of. Meanwhile, Minister with Responsibility for the Women's Center, Olivia Grange, was in attendance and shared her gratitude, saying this contribution by Scotia Bank will really go a far way in assisting the girls. Well, you know, I'm very happy this morning. Jamaican pylons, my glad bag burst. I'm a glad bag boss because, <laughs> because here we're receiving $2 million worth of tablets for our girls, girls at the Women's Center. And it is so important that at this time, we provide them with the tools they need. Everything is virtual. They have to be studying online. The, the facility at the centers cannot operate um, fully because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And so this contribution by Scotiabank this morning will really go uh, a tremendous way, far away, in assisting the girls. Minister Grange also noted that the organization has also been focusing on assisting young men, the fathers of the newborns, who wants to become responsible fathers by providing the relevant support. This program is a program that is helping young girls to restart their lives, to continue their education. Some have been abused and get pregnant. Some just experimenting and get pregnant. And then there are others who just find themselves in situations where they have become mothers at an early age. And it's not the end of the world. So the work of this center is to say to them, life continues and we are helping you, giving you the tools, giving you the support, helping you to continue your education, helping you to be reintegrated back into the school system. And not only to be reintegrated, but to assist you in developing your career and becoming either professionals or developing skills that will carry you through life. And we're also saying to the fathers of these children in some instances where there is a responsible young man who wants to be a good father, we are also providing that assistance. So I want to thank Scotia Bank tremendously. And I want other corporate entities to follow your example. The Women's Center of Jamaica Foundation is a public body that is mandated to provide adolescent mothers with continuing education during the birth of their babies. Presently, more than 1,000 young women are being served by the organization, which delivers its mandate from 18 sites across the island. And finally, in the news tonight, the Jamaica Constabulary Force is urging job seekers, especially young adults, to ensure employment agencies are legitimate companies before engaging in any business with them. Investigators are informing persons that employment agencies are being used as a ploy to defraud persons of cash and in more serious cases, 
to lure persons into situations where they are robbed or victimized. The police say these fake agencies use different medium to advertise, but the use of social media is especially common. So job seekers are therefore advised to use the tool provided on the Ministry of Labor website to verify that an agency is in fact an authentic business license to operate in Jamaica. The police also encourage parents to get involved in job searches with their children. And if you or anyone you know suspects that the agency you are dealing with is a front for criminal activities, then contact the police at 119 or Crime Stop 311 or the nearest police station. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Tamar McHale. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.